T or F N correct. We can use the gerund. We can use the gerund as the object after all verbs. Who can answer this question? We can use the gerund and the object after all verbs. Yeah? It's false. If I want to correct it, we can say we can use the object as, uh, we can use the gerund as the object after certain verbs. Correct the following. Number one, I said it without pain. I said it without pain. Number two, Ali is good at right stories. Number three, before choose book I often read a few pages to see if I like if I like it Let's try to answer these questions. Number one, I said it without think. I said it without think. Who can answer this? Yeah. Without, it's a preposition. So, we must say thinking. I said it without thinking. The second one, Ali is good at write stories. At is a preposition. So, we must say writing. Before choose a book, I often read a few pages to see if I like. Before is a preposition. So, we must try choosing. What can we deduce from these sentences? We can say, when a verb comes directly after a preposition, it's usually in the ing form. Okay? I said it without think, false. But I said it without thinking. Ali is good at write stories, false. Ali is good at writing stories. Before choose a book, I often read a few pages to see if I like it, false. But we must say before choosing. Why? Because 
When a verb comes directly after a preposition, it's usually in the ing form. When a verb comes directly after a preposition, a preposition, it's usually in the ing form. To sum up, we sometimes use the ing form of verbs when we add ing to verbs like a noun. We can't say it's a verb, but we say it's a noun. In another way, this form is called a gerund. ing to verbs, noun, verbal noun, or gerund. The gerund can be the subject of the sentence. It can also be the object after certain verbs. After certain verbs. We can say, we can use the gerund as the object after all verbs. False. We must say after certain verbs. When a verb comes directly after a preposition, it's in the ing form. Without at, before, these words are prepositions. So the verb must be in the ing form or gerund. Let's move to another one. Adjectives. Adjectives. Nouns. And pronouns. Question words. They all can be followed by to and the infinitive form. Adjectives, nouns and pronouns, question words can be followed by to plus infinitive form. Adjectives, nouns and pronouns, question words can be followed by to plus infinitive form. What does the word adjectives mean? What does the word adjectives mean? Adjectives are words. Adjectives are words which describe nouns. Adjectives are words which describe nouns. For example, tall, strong, beautiful, careful, and so on. Nouns is what we use to name anything, any place, any person. For example, that's a pen, that's a door, that's a ball. These words are nouns. Pronouns is what we use instead of repeating the noun. It's what we use instead of repeating the noun. For example, he, she, may, they, them, and so on. Question words, question words, like what, where, when, how, okay? 